Awesome. Today, Sarah is leaving the woods behind and hitting the city streets in search of mythical creatures on the new mermaid trail in Brooksville. 21 tiny mermaids are hiding across downtown Brooksville, and it's up to you to find them. First step, park here at the Brooksville Welcome Center. Step two, come right here to this information center. If you have some kids with you, you can take the children's map. It's just adults today, so we'll take one of these. Okay, according to this map, the first mermaid is right here. If you're gonna find a little um, bronze mermaid, she's gonna be anywhere between 12 inches and 21 inches long. We are on the move and have found our second mermaid just off of Main Street. It was a little bit difficult at first, but I'm not gonna give any spoilers. She'll be located somewhere on the building. We've made our way to the Hernando County Courthouse. This is one of the trickiest spots to find a mermaid, but I do have some good news for you. On the back of the map here, there are clues to help you out. We kind of trick you into learning things about the city while you're doing the trail. Okay, let's cut the suspenseful music. The Mermaid Trail has two options, a one mile route with all sidewalks, great for kids, and a two mile path, better for adults. It takes you around downtown and neighborhood and up Jefferson Street where you'll have to cut through some parking lots. Our businesses have been really happy uh, with the economic impact that it's had. We're on the trail, so people walk by all the time. Pan Bang Knits and Fiber Shop opened up in May. Peggy Johnson says the extra foot traffic has been great. It has absolutely helped us. If all the walking makes you a little bit hungry, there are restaurants that line the Mermaid Trail. We're about halfway through the long loop and we found Coney Island Drive-In. It's the oldest operating restaurant in Hernando County still. Carter Lee is one of the owners. He's also been seeing more walkers with maps in hand. It's really a good thing. The longer trail is about three to four hours if you take your time. So treat yourself to this much needed escape. It's nice to just think about mermaids and not about everything else, all the craziness that's going on in the world. If you are interested in trying out the Mermaid Trail with your family, you can find more information on our website. Just look for the Good Morning Tampa Bay section. In Brooksville, Sarah Finney, ABC Action News. Oh, this is awesome. If you visit the Mermaid Trail over the weekend, send Sarah a picture. You can find her on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. She'll show it on air Monday morning. I love those trails. You know, it's just kind of a little escape, and we all need that so much right now. Oh, we definitely do. I'll tell you what, though, Dia. I might stop at the Coney Island place. That might be <laughs> where my trail ends. No. I can knock down a few of those. <laughs> it looks so good. <laughs> it does look great. <laughs> Greg, that's such a, a really cool way to experience downtown Brooksville. A little scavenger hunt, if you will. Really nice. Yeah, really cool downtown, guys. I uh, stopped by there uh, last year after a school visit. A lot of history around, beautiful trees, and a lot of great local businesses. Still has that Americana feel to it. Uh, like old downtowns used to be built around a traditional historic courthouse. This is what it looks like if you're heading out to the Mermaid Trail today in Hernando County. Temperatures in the mid 